<laughs> hey YouTube. welcome to my channel my name is Serena or better known as Rena as most of my friends and family call me so feel free to call me whatever um, I am currently a youtuber I have a cooking channel as Serena cooks with love I decided to do a more personal channel I'll get in front of the camera most of you just see me <laughs> with my hands moving to document my life my journey uh, almost like a, a, a peace project I've gone through a lot in 2021 and I am open to talking about a lot of those things and sharing those things with you I've been on a journey thus far and I know that my journey is just beginning so even though a lot of what I've gone through so far hasn't been documented, um, I am looking forward to what's coming next to take you along with me, basically. <laughs> so, welcome to my channel. This is my first video, and I decided to do a kind of um, get to know me. So, I have a couple of questions, and we will take it from there. Hang tight. <laughs> I am getting some questions together. I'll probably show you all because, like I said, I do have a cooking channel. I was actually testing out some recipes. So I had, um, see this cheese pull? Mm. Had a, a baby shower over the weekend. And one of the things that I made was meatballs and macaroni and cheese. I didn't really get, it, get to eat because I was also the hostess. And so I was running around and helping to prepare and all of that kind of stuff. But everybody was really talking about how good the macaroni and cheese came out. So I, I decided to make some meatballs and mac and cheese. So good. why people were really talking about it. It's really daggone good. <laughs> I'm gonna put this recipe up on my um, Serena Cooks with Love channel. This is definitely video worthy. So let's get into this get to know me video. I only have 20% left on my battery, so <laughs> we're gonna make it do what it do. It's not gonna be that long, but hopefully it's enough to give you an idea of who I am and shed some light on some of the other things that I'll be doing and bring into my YouTube channel. All right, let's go. Alrighty. I had to get my water. There's some sparkling water. So, first question, how old am I? I am 40 years old for the next seven days. My 41st birthday. My 41st birthday. <laughs> it's on Monday, November 29th. I will be 41 years old. Another question would be, how many kids do I have? I have two kids, one son and one daughter. And fun fact about me, my kids are 18 years apart. I have two only children. <laughs> my son is 22 going on 23 and my daughter is four going on five. 
own. My son was literally out of my house. By the time that I had my daughter, he was away in college and both of my children grew up as only children. Other fun fact is um, same father, <laughs> same relationship, just kids 18 years apart. <laughs> Where am I from? New Jersey. I am a Jersey girl through and through, lived here all my life. What is my biggest fear? Well, <laughs> um, one of my biggest fears already happened. Um, I lost my husband um, just this year in May, suddenly. Um, and that was one of the biggest fears that I've ever had. Um, just losing someone so close to me and losing him in particular. Um, that's a whole, a whole separate video, story time, whatever. But yeah, I just, I just wasn't count, counting on that, wasn't expecting that, wasn't prepared for that. And that's where life took me this year. So that is why I'm on this journey of like self-discovery and um, wanting to document where I am and where I'm going and what that looks like because you know I realize how short life is and I realize that even though you still feel young and you still feel like you're invincible life can be taken from you with the blink of an eye literally life is not promised to you you don't know when you're gonna go as much as you you know are existing and living you you put off things that are important to you you put off things that you want to do because you're like I can do that the next day I could do that next year I can do that tomorrow tomorrow may not come the next year may not come the next second may not come you don't know tomorrow is not promised so the biggest fear already happened losing someone that I love so much after that I really don't have any fears um, of anything else because that was the worst thing that could have ever happened to me in my life. And so, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have any more fears after that. What have you named your children? My children, Sincere is my son. <laughs> I didn't know what he was gonna be named until like I was nine months pregnant. I sat in a movie theater with friends watching Belly and I love Nas and I love the role that he played and I had never heard that name before. I am big on unique names, names with meaning and when his name was Sincere, I was like, that's my son's name. That's how my son's name came about. My daughter, um, her name is Janae, and how her name came about um, is, I didn't know what we were gonna name her either. I had a couple of names that I had always like thought in the back of my head. If I ever had a girl, you know, I would like that name. But like when I actually became pregnant with a girl, I didn't know what the heck I was gonna name her. So I was at my parents' house and my father, his name is John. So he was like, oh, you can name her John A. And he spelled it J-O-H-N-A-Y. And I was like, mm, no, not John A. <laughs> J-O-H-N-A-Y. But John A, I like John A. Um, and then I had thought about Janae Aiko, um, and then I'm a 90s girl, I'm an 80s baby, but you know, grew up in the 90s and stuff, so I got the group Janae, but spelled Z-H-E-N-E. -E. So I'm like, I really like that, but I don't know how I would spell it. I'm also big on spelling names like phonetically and not being too creative with the way names are spelled because we are black. <laughs> And we already have stigmas and all of that on us about our names, Waukesha, Tamika. Waukesha, Tamika. All of these kind of names, um, or the way we spell the name being such a big problem. So with already having black children, um, even if they were gonna have unique names, I felt and feel a strong need to 
spell the name phonetically. I spelled it J-A-N-A-E. When I looked up to see what that name could mean, spelled that way, um, and it meant God had, God has answered. And I was like, wow. I was like, I love it. It was powerful. It made me love the name even more because um, I love names with meaning. You know, my son name, you know, like I said, is sincere. So that, you know, speaks for itself. Um, so I feel like names are prophetic. I always call him sincere, his full name. And I speak that over him every time, you know, we say his name. And when he is honest with you and you may not like it, <laughs> understand that you are speaking to someone whose name is sincere. He, so he lives up to his name. And my daughter, she is answer prayer because I did pray for her. I always wanted two kids at least. And I wanted a boy and a girl. And I wanted my boy first. Got my boy first. I got my girl finally after, you know, thinking that I wasn't going to get her. But I did finally get her. She was answer prayer because I, we, we literally tried for her. Um, when we actually got her, it was kind of like, like, did we really do this? We, we really did try for her. So she definitely is answer prayer. So my kids' names. I'm only gonna do a couple because I told you guys my phone is getting ready to die. Um, <laughs> so this was really um, spontaneous. I, I didn't really plan for this. I'm gonna kind of like fly by the seat of my pants kind of girl sometimes. Do you have any siblings? I do, I have two older brothers. They're six and seven years older than me. So they are literally and have always been my protectors. You know, they are definitely protective of their little sister, always have been, always will be. I can call on them to this day for anything. How taller am I? I am only 4'11". Okay, short T. But that's all right, that's all right. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. And I love all shades of blue, all shades of blue. What is your favorite book? I'm actually reading so many books right now. I used to be like an avid book reader and I can just get through like a book in like a day or two max. I don't have as much free time to be able to just read like I used to getting back into it since my husband passed. I have a lot more time than what I was having, but I do also have a toddler running around here. So <laughs> I really don't have free time until she goes to bed. And so instead of watching YouTube, I'm reading so many books right now. I don't really have a favorite that I can pinpoint. More books on like um, healing, spiritual healing, uh, anything to like promote the journey that I'm on is really the types of books that I've been reading lately. But I, I love to read all kinds of books. Two more questions. Do you have any pets? I do. Um, my husband, his nickname was Nature Boy growing up. And so he loves animals, creatures of all kinds. And I always loved kids kids. I've always loved pets growing up. They're like kids. I've always loved animals. At one point, I wanted to be a veterinarian. Um, but, um, so I, I, all that to say that I have had a lot of pets. We, unfortunately, we've lost a couple. So we had turtles. We had two turtles, two birds, a fish, and a dog. My, my, one of my birds had died, no, right after my husband passed away. And then the second one died shortly thereafter. Not shortly, she lived a while, but like not too long ago. They weren't lovebirds, but they were bonded and they were parakeets. And so I didn't anticipate her living that much longer than him dying, but, um, yeah, so she, she died. And I had two little turtles. And I don't know what happened with them. Like, I was going through a lot after I lost my husband. And I thought I was doing everything right. I thought I was keeping everything up. You know, like, I wanted to do that because I knew that that's what he would want. And 
you know, that was one of the, his responsibilities is keeping up after all the pets. He would clean the tanks and do all of this stuff. And I don't know if I just going through the motions, like being on autopilot, being just like mine everywhere, all over the place. I don't know if when I cleaned out the tank that I didn't clean it out good enough and left like some chemicals in the water. I really don't know because I don't really, I never really use like soap and water to clean out their tank. I just would rinse it out to get, you know, that stinky turtle tank smell out and put them back in. But something must have happened. The water, something happened because they both passed. Oh, I was so sad because he really loved the turtles out of everything. We have one fighter fish um, that my daughter has named Rainbow and we have a um, have any shih tzu mix so she's a have a shoe and her name is Roxy we got her after my husband passed my um, husband's nickname like his grown-up name they called him Little Rock and um, his name was Corey and Rock is core spelled back to so call him Little Corey and then that changed to Little Rock and so we named our dog Roxy. She's a female version of him. She was something that we brought home to help us, you know, through this journey of, of the loss of our loved one. My daughter lost her, daughter and son lost um, their father. But you know, she's just a baby and they were just super, 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 super duty proposed. And my son too, of course, but like, you know, he's, older mature enough to understand what's going on even though he's hurting um, you know my, my little one not really understanding what death is and never really had to deal with it until this happened and so yeah so we got Roxy to help us she is our emotional support dog and she has been a journey in and of itself because <laughs> she's a puppy um, we got her she was just shy of being three months old um, so she will be one in February and so it's literally been like having two kids running around my house I work from home my daughter is homeschooled with me um, I got this crazy dog <laughs> and a fish and birds and, and and turtles my house is just chaotic and Unfortunately, we lost our turtles and we lost our birds, but we still have our dog, of course, and our fish is going strong. So, um, and I have just one more question because my phone is getting ready to die, for real, for real. What is your favorite drink? So it depends. I love coffee and I never really was a coffee drinker. I was a, a tea drinker and my favorite tea is chai latte. Husband is a avid coffee drinker. Like coffee, coffee is a must. Um, and so I became a coffee drinker, so I need my coffee in the morning. I love water, but I like my water to be sparkled. Like the bubbly kind of waters, those are the um, waters that I like. If we're talking about like liquor, my favorite drink is tequila like some orange juice or cranberry juice, make me a little tequila sunrise. You know, it's my favorite drink um, if we're talking about liquor and I love wine. Um, I am normally a white wine kind of girl, nice Riesling or um, Pinot Grigio, um, but I have been on this red wine kick lately and it's more of a sweeter wine, but it's not like, sweet wine but it, it it's sweeter so it's not so dry and it's not so robust so good like I can drink and I never really could really drink red wine but that is my wine well family I want to thank you for you know just hearing me out stopping by my channel see what I got going on here um, I don't even know what the name of this channel is going to be yet, so forgive me. Um, I am going to put this out there, and hopefully God and the universe will bring all of my spiritual family 
with me, all those that resonate with me, all of those that can relate with me, um, embark on this journey with me. I don't know where this channel is gonna take us, but I just wanna document my growth. I wanna document my growth through the grief that I'm, I'm going through. I wanna document my growth and my journey as a single parent. I was one at one point in time, you know, before my husband and I got married, and that's a whole story that, you know, I will, you know, share with you all as this all unfolds but be a single parent ever again in life but here i am so i want to document that journey i want to just document my life i want to leave something here for my kids to always be able to come back to if anything ever happened to me i want them to have something to be able to look at and say, you know, this is mommy, this is who she was, this is what she did, this is what she accomplished, despite all the odds, this is where we are because of her, because of mommy and daddy. But anything were to happen to me, that she has me, pieces of me, like live right here in front of her, you know, that she could always look at, she could always you know, relate to. I have a million pictures of my husband with her, and I tried to capture every moment. Something inside me led me to do that, to capture as many memories and moments as I could, and so that's what I did. I feel compelled to do the very same thing for myself, capture as many moments, do as much as I can, put it out there, put it out there for the world to see and grow with and journey with me and resonate to really more so just an open face diary for her to look at, for my son to look at, for my grandchildren to look at, so that they can know me and experience me at this point in my life um, all the way through. Because, you know, I, I feel like, you know, for me, especially like when I think about family and stuff like that, there's so many questions that I wish I could ask my grandparents because either they passed away so soon or like while I was so young that I just wasn't even thinking or that I just did, I took for granted the relationship that I had with my grandparents and I don't have that opportunity to reflect on and go back to. I'm putting it all out there, um, giving as much wisdom and giving as much information and documenting and journeying as much as I possibly can on camera, this is something that they could always have. So that is the purpose of my channel. That is what I plan to do. That is gonna take us a lot of different places. So I anticipate a lot of lifestyle. I anticipate a lot of single mommy vlogging. I have a lot of, um, again, me just documenting me, talking about how I feel. What am I doing at this point? What's helping me? What's not helping me? We'll see where this goes. And you know, I, I am on a lock journey. <laughs> so I am like a year and a half in. So I expect there to be some, some, you know, hair care stuff if you guys would like to learn about what I do to maintain my locks. I bought them myself in the midst of a pandemic. <laughs> um, so there's gonna be a lot of stuff on this channel and I really would enjoy that you journey with me come along with me for the ride um don't forget i do have another channel on youtube serena cooks with love serena cooks tv i think you can find it by and so <laughs> thank you for watching and good night